Hello everyone, Logan from Curated Avalon, and today I have the great pleasure of sharing a Gravitas Pens fountain pen. So this is something I have wanted to treat myself to for a while now. I've been following Ben Walsh's designs for a few years. Uh, he is an Irish designer, and I think that is so cool that he has incorporated Oem language into his overall product design. I love that. I didn't realize how integrative his logo actually was. So Oem language, if you are unfamiliar, is actually a medieval written Irish language, and you can actually look up the key to this and decode it, so to speak. I think that's really cool. So moving on, the pen does come in this handy little sleeve, and I chose the white Delrin pen. So this is a full plastic body pen. Um, really comfortable. I was kind of surprised because when I initially took it out of its sleeve and I felt it and I went, I'm not crazy about this. And just for contrast, I actually showed it to some of my friends and the first thing they said when they touched it was, oh my goodness, I love the way this pen feels. So, you know, to each his own. And I actually got used to it really quickly and I find myself taking it out of the sleeve and just kind of fiddling with it because the plastic does in fact feel really good. This is a very lightweight pen, even with the stainless steel grip section. Uh, you don't have a ton of weight at the back end when you're holding the pen, so if that's a concern for you, uh, this is a good pen choice. You have the nice weighted section in the front, nothing crazy weighing you down in the back. I tend to like a full metal body pen, so I actually like extra weight, but this one's nice and lightweight. I am crazy about the threaded grip section. Oh my goodness, I love this. I don't know if you can see it, but these teeny tiny little threads, it's so incredibly comfortable. I'm not even sure I can explain just how comfortable it is. Like you can barely tell they're there. It feels so good. It has a nice, nice feel. It doesn't rub my skin. And it just, I feel like I'm holding onto the pen really well without a ton of pressure. So I know this pen has fondly been nicknamed the Stormtrooper pen. However, when I pulled it out of the sleeve and I saw it, my first thought was actually Boba Fett's prototype armor. So that's kind of how I've come to think of this pen. You can see that some ink has made it to the front. Uh, I actually like being able to see it. it, makes it easier to clean out. I chose a medium nib and it does have his Gravitas pen logo symbol on the nib. However, my pen cap does not display his logo. I'm not sure if that was an oversight because I distinctly remember the logo being on this pen. But it's kind of interesting, just a completely white pen. I think that's kind of where I got the Boba Fett prototype armor image in my head. So this pen does have O-rings, so you can eyedropper it if you wish. It comes with a converter, and I actually really like the converter that it comes with. It's very easy to use. It's not fussy. That's always a plus when it comes to converters. So I'll do a quick writing sample and just kind of show you why the nib isn't my favorite. So I love the pen overall. It's very comfortable to write with. However, I chose a medium nib and for whatever reason, I feel like this pen actually writes more like a fine pen. And let's see, start. Noodlers, dark matter is the ink in this pen right now. Yeah, I just feel like I have to put a little bit of pressure down to get the line that I want. And I've made some slight adjustments to the nib, nothing major. It didn't really have much of an effect. So this nib writes perfectly. There's nothing wrong with the way it writes. It's just really fine for my personal taste. So I'll, I, I tend to grab it, pick it up, and I'll start writing with it and then kind of put it down because it's just not quite what I'm looking for. So this is with a little bit of extra pressure, I kind of get the line that I want overall. Nothing wrong with the nib, works perfectly, just not quite a medium to me. 
So I'll give a little bit of a contrast here so you can see kind of what I'm talking about. I have my Pilot Vanishing Point, my Monteverde Invincia Deluxe, and a Kilk Camera Laterna. All three of these have dark matter ink in them as well, so it'll be a good comparison. Now, my Pilot Vanishing Point, uh, it writes more like a broad, so it's kind of an unfair comparison. But I'm just going to start with that because it is the widest. And don't ask me why a Japanese gold nib writes like a broad when it's in medium instead of more like a fine, but it does. This is the Monteverde Invincia Deluxe. Pilot Monteverde. And this is the Kilk. So the Kilk and the Monteverde are both steel nibs, just like the Gravitas pen. So they're the most comparable, and obviously, as I said, for whatever reason, that Pilot writes more like a broad. So here is the Gravitas. So, and this is a Yowo number six nib on this pen, I believe. Um, just for some comparison. So this is totally personal preference, but it just doesn't write like a medium nib for me. So I just don't pick it up as often. However, gorgeous pen. The nib writes beautifully. Love the way the pen is designed and love the way the pen feels. Just not my favorite because that line isn't a little wider. However, it'll probably serve me well in future because all of my pens for the most part or medium nibs, and sometimes you do need a finer line. So I really do like having an all white pen. I think that is so cool. I really have been enjoying that look for sure. So thank you so much to Ben for making such beautiful pens and Actually making them available. I know that's a lot of work to get a business up and off the ground. To actually make it work, that's pretty fantastic. So I'm looking forward to more purchases from Gravitas Pens in the future. I would love to know, have you tried any of Ben's designs? Have you seen them before? Would you be interested in an all-white plastic pen? I mean, it's kind of interesting. I can't quite get over it now that I have it and I just... I really enjoy using it. Thank you so much for watching.